Okay. Once I was in uh, in the market town. In the market town. I had my own stand. Well, I was exposing my focaccia. And a man comes around and says, uh, It's just bread. Not exactly, my friend. This is not just bread. This is a focaccia. focaccia. In no, Italiano, focaccia. la focaccia. Okay. In this case, I created my own masterpiece of uh, baking engineering. Why do I call it so? Because uh, I found it uh, the right flour, a top Italian flour. I find the right uh, amount of water in it. I, I find the right uh, moisturizing. I did put the right ingredient to create something that uh, after three days, like this one, is still, as you see, nice and soft. I keep it in a clean film. And as you see, still got a nice softness. And if I cut it through, nice and easy. This nice softness. Now, what's the difference between this and a bread? A normal bread, after three days, you could play football with it. With this one, now I can still nice uh, cut in half, cut it like that. I can toast it. I can stuff it. I can put some mortadella, my favorite. Prosciutto, still my favorite. Salami, all Italian charcuterie. Uh, I can even cut it in half with some cheese, put it into the oven, bake it, melt it down, and then season with some garlic, the favorite. It's a very po popular product of my restaurant, this one. And uh, we do sandwiches with it, we do garlic focaccia, chili garlic focaccia, uh, cheesy chili garlic focaccia, it's made in so many different ways. But uh, on this video, I don't want to give you a recipe. I want to give you a way, an understanding of how to reach your own masterpiece. A recipe that can be all different. This is mine, of course, there are my secrets in it, I'm not gonna give it to you otherwise. But I will give you a way of working it. Okay. Uh, the second step, where it gets folded, how to fold it, how to shake it, how to bake it. Okay. But the most important things when you do, when you create your own, uh, when you create your own uh, mix, your own dough, is to choose a very good strong flour. In this case, I've chosen and top Italian one with the probably it's got a W factor of 330, 340. It means this is the strength of the flour. So it's got an amount of protein around 13.2. So choose always a strong flour with a high amount of protein when you do this. And another important factor is the hydration. It means how much water the flour needs to take. How more hydrated is the bread, is the focaccia, and easier is going to be to digest together with the 24 hour probing is going to make this focaccia lighter softer and easier to digest this doesn't mean it's going to be with no calories because of course you can tell i got some of it this is my damnation of course above all late night but the ideal i think i tried even the 90 percent it gets more bubbly it gets lighter gets crispier this one i fix it on an 81 80 percent hydration what does it mean in 100 grams of flour i did put 80 ml of water the idea to the focaccia is to do a mix a dough that takes at least the 70 percent of water any 100 grams of flour so it means if i do 100 grams of flour again i will have 70 ml of water if I do 200, I will have 140. If I do 300, I will have 210. Okay, how important is the hydration point? I suggest to use an hydration between 70% and 80% of water. Because it's going to keep this moist. You can go over, but then it's going to be too light. It's going to be with more bubbly. It's going to be crisper. You can choose your hydration. Depends what the flower as well lets you do. In this case, I've been using an autolyzing method with a no-need technique. And... It's a very good top Italian flour that let me do, I decided to go onto, until 80%. So it means any 100 grams of flour, I've been using 80 ml of water. If you do 70%, of course, any 100 grams of flour, we're going to use 70 ml of water. And so it goes on. Just do the math and make your own masterpiece.
on top of the ration so we have the amount of salt 10 grams to 15 grams any 400 uh, grams of flour should be enough you don't need to put too much uh, you can choose the oil you can choose uh, an extra virgin olive oil that will give you yes more flavor but it's gonna make your focaccia a little bit uh, stiffer if you use another different oil like could be a sunflower and a single seed oil that is gonna give you extra softness it's gonna be flavorfully so you're gonna have just the flavor of the bread itself and it's not gonna be stiff as much as the extra virgin olive oil but you can try you can try the different one and probably go any 20 ml any half a kilo that would be enough but you need to do your own masterpiece so you need to try all of that you can add some starch like from potatoes like from the corn flour you can do without uh, so into the dough when you're choosing your flour when you're choosing your uh, uh, percentage of hydration okay between 70 and 80 this is what i suggest okay uh, when you're choosing the amount of salt average 10 15 grams any 400 grams of flour okay when you're choosing the amount of oil or the kind of oil you want to use you can try you can see which is which which one satisfies you more okay so again the oil could be around 20 ml per uh, 400 grams and uh, you can add some starch is a little trick it gives extra softness okay on top of it the other most important things is the baking part being a shallow bread as you see uh, we're gonna bake on a high temperature i always suggest high temperature around 220 to 250 as well i did a few in the video you will see you won't see the the baking part you will see the folding and you will see the shaping and then you will see the the finished result on the day now i'm showing you the finished result after three days still nice and soft the highest temperature is gonna create a kind of crust very fine the short time is gonna uh, let our dough to retain the water so to let it be more moist inside softer so easier to digest okay so always bake on a high temperature like 220 to 250 from a time that goes from 12 minutes to maximum of 15 then put on a cooling rack and let it rest into the resting time is there when the focaccia is gonna finish its cooking so relaxing once it's chilled not completely still a little warm if you want i know you can't resist it to cut it you can do it do it stuff it eat it sponge it uh, open in a half like this and enjoy as much as you can so i hope to give you new, that you can take a few hints from this and uh, why not now remember in the kitchen feel free do whatever you want to do have the knowledge to do it find the knowledge to do it the kitchen is the magic place where the wizard is you enjoy the rest of the video ciao
Är det över trä? Okay. 